we are asked to find the final hourly wage if a $14.50 starting wage is increased by 3.5% each year for six years. To determine the final hourly wage, we'll have to write an equation relating the hourly wage to the time in years. And because the hourly wage is increasing by a constant percentage each year, we will have an exponential equation in the form y equals a times b raised to the power of x, where a is the initial or starting value. And because the wage is increasing by 3.5% each year, we will have exponential growth, and therefore the base b is equal to one plus r, where r is the percent growth as a decimal. So our equation will be in the form of y equals a times the quantity one plus r raised to the power of x. If we want to use the variables x and y, let's let y equal the hourly wage and x equal the time in years. And again, a is the initial or starting value and therefore a is equal to $14.50 or just 14.5 and r is the growth rate which must be expressed as a decimal for the equation. So r is equal to 3.5%, which is a decimal is equal to 0 0.035, which means the equation is y equals 14.5 times the quantity one plus 0 0.035 raised to the power of x. Simplifying, we have y equals 14.5 times 1.035 raised to the power of x. And now to determine the final hourly wage six years later, we set x equal to six. So if we set x equal to six and perform substitution, we have y equals 14.5 times 1.035 raised to the power of six. And now we go to the calculator. We enter 14.5, then in parentheses 1.035 raised to the power of six, enter. And we're told to round to the nearest cent, which would be to the hundredths place value. Notice how we have a four in the third decimal place, which means we round down, and therefore the wage is approximately $17.82. So the final hourly wage is $17.82. I hope you found this helpful.